Just leave me with an I or a Y. Okay, great. I got you down. And be sure to check our website. Gwen lists all of your finds prior to the auction so you can start your Christmas wish list early. Happy holidays. Good morning. Good morning, Gwen. I've got great news. Banner's barely up, and we've already got five RSVPs. Which is why I think you, Sienna, need these. And you need to finish that before Doris gets here in 10. What? I thought we were just having a follow-up call tomorrow. You were, but apparently something came up, and she needs to talk to you, and she's close by. Oh, why does that not sound good? Stop. Look, I know there are a few appraisers in the running, but it's you. It's just... I don't know. Scoring the Hawthorne house would be the biggest coup of my career. Don't worry. You're one client away from being able to buy this place when Graham retires next month. Unless the Davro group beats you to it. Wait, are you trying to make me feel better or worse? I've noticed you back out. I thought it was a done deal. I thought so too, but it fell through. So, you work best under stress. Hi, Graham. Good morning, ladies. Have you spoken to him about it yet? I've tried twice. We were interrupted both times, so now I just need to find the perfect moment. Which will be after I land my new client. That's the attitude. More lights. Seriously. This is a lovely room. I wanted to give you a preview of our auction space. Apologies. As a... An estate manager, I know it's never a good thing to change things up on someone at the last minute, but we did not expect Mr. Hawthorne's buyer to back out. I thought it was a done deal. I thought so too, but it fell through. So I'm on my way to plead with a stager, but... Cookie. Thank you. <laughs> we need to attract a new buyer ASAP. Oh, wow. Who made these? I wish I could take credit, but they're actually from my best friend's cafe. Well, they're delicious. So to stage the house for Christmas, it's going to complicate the appraisal process, especially in time for your auction. But the real estate agent believes that it'll show the house off to its full glory and, and maybe remind people of the good old days. It would be so nice to see it decorated one more time. Mm. A nation's worth of living. So, if you're up for it. I remember the first time I met Mrs. Hawthorne? I was eight years old, the caroling had just finished, and the whole neighborhood was up there. The annual Christmas Eve party. The outside was dripping with decorations. It looked like so much work, but I remember she said that it never felt like it. That she decorated the inside for them, but the outside was to bring joy to everyone else. Carol loved this town, and she wanted to make sure everyone had somewhere to go on Christmas Eve. It's become a very different place without her. I can only imagine. <laughs> so, um, we need someone who is willing to work around and with a stager, whoever that will be, and to rehome four generations worth of living. So, if you're up for it. Yes. Excellent. So you'll have to meet with Mr. Hawthorne first for the final sign-off. He prefers to invest in local businesses. And all of the profits are going to city charities. But you must know, he can be a little grumpy. Yeah, but um, he loves a hard worker. So I think he is going to adore you. So how's 11 a.m. tomorrow? Already in my calendar. <laughs> a matter of when they'll get the approval for our office there, not if. That's great. Yeah. Yes, sir. Hey, Brendan, what's up? Oh, yeah. Are you kidding me? Remember when we were stationed at Edwards, one of the best bases, and you know I've been to a few, Brendan. I would love to get this going in San Diego. Exactly. Most people don't understand the adjustment of leaving the military like we do. Just remind them Dirt Force One's mission is to provide as much support as we can for veterans while also providing a paycheck. Yeah, Mike and I would love the opportunity to open a second office in the VA building there. Thanks, Brenda. Was that the VA in San Diego? Any news? Uh, just standing by to stand by. 
but I think it's more of a matter of when they'll get the approval for our office there, not if. That's great. Yeah. I guess I should start prepping for the expansion. Get quotes on office furniture, supplies. Just, uh, are you sure you want to be the one to go? Yeah, sure. You know me, Mike. I love a station vacation. True, but uh, you're the one who wanted to finally settle here when you left the Air Force and make a home. Yeah, that was the plan. But with Melissa. Morning, guys. Hey. hey, Tucker. Welcome back. You're going to the Callahan job today. It's a mid-rise, so bring the window rig. Starts in 30. Nice, boss. Uh, hey, did you end up enrolling in that electrical engineering class at Rossmore? Working on it. Okay. Hello. Your favorite child is here. Ten man, keep us posted. Roger that. Okay, what's with the marker? Since I know how you like to run a tight ship, I got us this. <laughs> that is one very large and very neatly organized calendar that uh, doesn't seem to have an appointment with the caterer for the holiday party. What's going on with that? Huh. Yeah, party planning is not my strong suit. I know. Which is why I booked it for tomorrow morning at 9.30. See? And this is why I needed you as my business partner. You are the king of logistics. Just meet me there. Hello? Your favorite child is here. And no, not because I'm your only one. <laughs> Got cookies from Vanessa's. Hi, hon. There you are. Where's Dad? Oh, attic wrangling the lights. He will never change up those old snowflake lights, will he? Never. <laughs> hey, Dad, you need a hand? No, oh, I got it. <laughs> He'll be down eventually. How would you like a warm drink? Is that your malt cider? Can't decorate the tree without it. <laughs> Ready for a new world record, huh? Oh, you really think you can be? I'm an appraiser. It is my job to efficiently assess value. If I don't last year's time. <laughs> Been working on my technique. Okay, good, because I can't stay for long. <laughs> Why? Are you going on a second date with Brad? Ooh. What? No, work. Mom, why are we talking about Brad? I don't know. Last time you said, um, good guy, accountant, dressing up as Santa for his office Christmas party, which he complained about. <laughs> so, yeah, there's that. Well, there's always going to be something. Is there, really? Well, if you're still worrying about having your heart broken, yeah. Dad, are we really going to go there? This has nothing to do with me being ditched at the altar. What? It doesn't. It was a long time ago. I'm an appraiser. It is my job to efficiently assess value. If I don't see it, I move on. All your father's trying to say is you can't just keep dismissing people for the littlest thing. I just gotta figure out what your deal breakers are. That's it. I did. Grumpy Santa is a deal breaker. <laughs> well, fair enough. So, I actually do have some exciting news. I am this close to appraising and auctioning off the contents of the Hawthorne house. I mean, I still have to meet with Mr. Hawthorne, but if I land this job, I will be one step closer to being able to buy legacy. That is wonderful news, sweetheart. So exciting. It's just, are you sure you want to buy it? Mom, I forgot to set the timer. <laughs> I'm gonna have to start over. I'm going, you know that we support you, right? We just know that you have a habit of taking too much on. We want you to have time to enjoy yourself. Yeah, I mean, time goes by so fast. I mean, just look at you here, so young. Gwen, listen, we just don't want all of this to fall on you. You don't have time for anything else, you know what I mean? Don't worry, I got this under control. Okay. I'm gonna borrow this, okay? Oh, and uh, I am meeting Vanessa tomorrow night, so you will have another one of these beauties coming your way. And we are done! <laughs> <laughs> What's my time? Oh. I forgot to set the timer. <laughs> I'm gonna have to start over. <laughs> Someone looks 
looks ready for their meeting. I will be, once you hook me up. You want a candy cane latte? Uh, sounds amazing, but... Americano. Double shot. It's a big morning. <laughs> Need me to bring a refuel to our annual Christmas photo shoot tonight? No, but maybe make that a triple. <laughs> Here you go. You are the best. Feel free to say that a little louder, in case anybody missed it. <laughs> I'll see you later. Sorry, buddy. There is no way we can use that cater. Everything was overpriced and undercooked. Not a word. Good luck finding another one, especially with your high standards. Here, let me get the door. Thanks, Reed. You're back. I was thinking about you this morning. You were. Your suggestion for the cinnamon bun and clove latte was inspired. So please try this with this. Okay. Tell me what you think. Any chance you cater holiday parties? Read. See you back at the office after the walkthrough. Gwen, welcome back to Hawthorne's. Place hasn't changed a bit. Loved the switchback staircase. <sighs> and that chandelier. I thought it was so. Think you can handle that? Yes, sir. I am fully prepared to personally evaluate every inch of the property. Enormous when I was a kid. Yeah, it really is a very special place. So, are you ready to meet the man of the house? Follow me. Donnelly from Legacy. Mr. Hawthorne, I doubt you remember me, but I used to come every Christmas Eve with my parents. Your daughter, Isla, was a few years ahead of me. Thank you. Let's get down to brass tacks. I'm clearing it all out. Beyond a few clearly marked uh, items of my personal collection and some furniture, everything else in this house is for a game. Everything. If it has any value, I want it auctioned off. You think you can handle that? Yes, sir. I am fully prepared to personally evaluate every inch of the property. Doris mentioned you were having the place staged for the sale. Decorated for Christmas. The real estate agent said it was sure to captivate a potential buyer. Well, it always was a stunning sight. If there's anything I can do to help. You want to decorate? <laughs> y you weren't able to find anyone. Everyone is booked through January. So the, uh, the job is open. I'm not a professional, but I do love to decorate. We'd be paying over time, of course. Oh, you two can discuss the details elsewhere. Wait, so does that mean I have the auction of the estate? Well, if you feel you're up to it. Thank you, Mr. Hawthorne. Meaning service. I'm um, considering the size of the job. And uh, Mr. Hawthorne said... <sighs> Thankfully, we caught him in a good mood. That was a good mood? Underneath it all, he's got a heart of butter. I promise. Um... Did I just agree to decorate the house? Don't worry, honey. It's just the front and the main rooms and anywhere a potential buyer might walk. Great. Yeah. Oh, um, about the cleaning crew. I can work with anyone, of course, but in my experience, there are some crews that are less flexible than others, and given the short time frame on this job... Then I bet you're glad it's me. Reed. Hmm? Well, you two obviously know each other. No, we just work together. Once. Wonderful. I thought it would be helpful to get a commercial cleaning service, um, considering the size of the job, and uh, Mr. Hawthorne suggested Reed's company. Yeah, he's a veteran, too. It is a great cause. Since you two already know each other, we can get right to it. Now, if there are no objections, you could start working together tomorrow. How does that sound?
What? No. No. That was a, um, was a general statement. Hmm. Okay, fine. Maybe I was, but you have to admit you weren't. Flexible? On our one job together? No, because we had a schedule. You just took on too much. Nothing that wasn't doable. Not in one week, which I told you. And then clocked out. But it's okay. Everything got done. And hey, I even got to see the sunrise that last morning. So mm. it's all good. I knew it was a sign when I saw your van this morning. Saw my van? How? You were here before me, which isn't usually the case. Okay, just because I don't run on military time doesn't mean I'm not punctual. Well, I guess that depends on whose schedule you run off of. Well, usually I appraise you clean we haul, so it would stand to reason. It would be mine first. When there's time. Otherwise, it all happens at once. So, to get 0800? You could just say 8 a.m. And that doesn't work for me. I need at least an hour in the office working on Legacy's holiday auction. I've got appraisals, I've got to update the catalog, advertising. My crew and I have a hard out at 1600 every day. 4 p.m.? I thought it was 5. When it's not holidays. So an eight-hour day. Seven and a half less lunch. First, if you did, I'm so glad that you didn't. Mm. Even shorter if you don't get here till later. <gasps> Look at this. All this space, and yet you're still right here. <laughs> That's right, I forgot. You prefer to operate alone. No, I just think if you want something done right, you do it yourself. Mm -hmm. I'll see you tomorrow. So lucky, I was two seconds away from meeting the last cup of the brownie. Totally would have understood if you did. I'm so glad that you didn't. Mm. Mm. I needed this. On first day, I cannot believe I am working with Dirt Horse One again. And I'm now hosting a coffee cart at their holiday party. What? You are? Mm -hmm. I mean, it's great, right? You're just lucky it's only one night. Is Reed really that bad? No. Not if you don't mind. Rigid, immovable, arrogant. How are you going to survive the next two weeks? You mean 13 days? Not when we're counting. Strategically minimize interaction. Focus on the big picture. And if that doesn't work... I knew people would be excited about... We're going to need to do that over. Not a problem. I'll have Sienna revise the language. I'm so glad we could finalize this in time to include it in the holiday auction. <laughs> Thank you. I already heard you, and I'm on it. Thank you. I can't believe you've been here an hour already. I've just had my first sip of coffee. What else can I do? Nothing. Don't worry, I've got this. You usually do, which is why I think you need to seize this moment. Graham? Yeah? Can I talk to you for a minute? Sure. Come to my office. I knew people would be excited about the antique violin you found. I just didn't realize how excited. Are you kidding me? A haunted violin that's rumored to play itself? Scream is a one-of-a-kind Christmas gift. <laughs> And that's why there is no one better than you to run this auction every year. That's what I wanted to talk to you about. The auction? The auction house. After you retire. Oh? I know we've loosely discussed my wanting to take over if possible, but I want you to know that I am in the final stages of being approved for a business loan. And since the holiday auction is traditionally my biggest commission, now with the Hawthorne house added, my plan is to be able to earn enough with what I've saved to be able to about bidding. Okay. You have two weeks. For the down payment. Gwen, I, I recognize how much heart you put into your work, and your loyalty to this company is a rare find, truly. I feel the same way about legacy. But I have an interested party who can write me a check the second I say yes. You're talking about the Davro group? Oh, you heard. I heard it was a possibility. Mm -hmm. 
But I also know that you don't want this place turned into a big chain any more than I do. We've both been there. True. And as much as I would like to keep it as is, you know that the sale always goes to the highest bidder. Just don't count me out. I have every intention of outbidding. Okay. You have two weeks. to you too assuming those are just trash right just checking so I was thinking given the scope of the place we start at the top and we work down well uh, my guys have already started in the east wing sitting room so east to west is better for us at this point put them up yeah I uh, told them I'd help them decorate for their prospective buyer fine east to west it is just make sure you run everything by me first. Really want to see me that much, huh? Actually, why don't we use the dining room as a landing pad? Your guys can play stuff in there, and then I can go through it on my own, and we don't have to get in each other's way. That's what I thought. So we agree. Oh, and uh, just don't forget to look under every mattress and behind every drawer and in every pocket, because you never know where those forgotten gems are going to be. Huh. Are we done so I can get back to work? Oh, um, did Doris happen to mention where they keep the Christmas decorations? I need to appraise them before I put them up. Put them up? Yeah. I uh, told them I'd help them decorate for their prospective buyers. They just want the place to look like the old Hawthorne house at Christmas for the sale. And if I'm going to buy Legacy, I need all the help I can get. So, yeah. She didn't say anything. Didn't you want to get back to work? I'm assuming I can just put these in the donate pile? What? No. Why would you assume? I just need the time to feel things. You know, see if they're worth it. Not. Because they're a bunch of old linens you said you'd go through an hour ago. <sighs> Sorry, I'm just, uh, I just had to look through these, and I'm waiting for an evaluation, and that can wait. I will, uh, I will call them later. Okay, uh, oh, wow. <laughs> these are not old. These are antique French linens painstakingly hand-woven until the early 1900s, and bonus points for French trousseau, which was an art in itself. They're highly sought after. They'll make a great gift. Mm. So you're going to sell them? Auction them, hopefully. I just need the time to feel things. You know, see if they're worth it. Nicole, you think maybe you can feel everything in five minutes? Because we got 6,000 square feet to go through. Uh, it's just I, I told Doris that I would get that garland up. It won't take me long, but... What? Why do I feel another sunrise coming on? No. No, 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 no. I just, I'm just trying to get my arms around everything. It's a lot of good stuff, which is good, but... What are you doing? There's three of us and one of you. Wait, but you didn't sign up for this. You don't have to decorate. I know I don't have to, but apparently this house is a big memory for a lot of my guys, too, so... You know what I always say? Individuals play the game. Trying to do it all themselves. I have no idea who you might be talking about. Game. The teams beat the odds. This is a bit of an unusual situation. It's fine. I'll juggle both. Let my guys focus on the clean. Can I help you with that? No. I got it. You do realize what this means, don't you? We're going to be hanging a lot of lights. We are going to have to work together. 
on the same schedule to get it all done. I do know that. Because we can't have a singular point of failure from someone who's trying to do it all themselves. I have no idea who you might be talking about. I know this is a lot on top of an already big job, but thank you. I think it might really make a difference. And um, of course, I'll pay you the extra. So. Oh, don't worry about it. If anything, it'd be great to get another person some hours before the holidays. Start this company to help people. So. Thank you. But it is still up to you to fit it all in. I'll see you at 0800. I think this is a nice... Did I hear that right? You did. You gotta tell me these things so I can alter this bad boy. Tasting area, don't you? It looks perfect. I still have no idea how you went from having a coffee cart at their office party to hosting it on your patio. No one really wants to have a party at an office. Mike was with me on that. Very in sync. Well, Mike seems very nice. Let's see how the taste test goes before we come to any sweeping conclusions. Okay. <laughs> As for a VA regional director, he was pretty cool. He appreciates a good PowerPoint. I said you'd follow up with them later, but I thought it went well. Might want to ask Santa for a new surfboard. Huh. Okay, I'll get on that after I finish at Hawthorne House. About that, the guy said you were decorating. Did I hear that right? You did. You gotta tell me these things so I can alter this bad boy. It was the Christmas party coming. Oh, the cater that Vanessa suggested is great, and uh, I'm going over desserts with her later, so it's good. It's going well. Huh. Okay. What? So it's affirmative. Your crush. Oh, stop. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. I'd recognize that look anywhere. Not that you've let yourself go there in way too long. This isn't about me. Actually, it is. So, how much decorating are we talking about? Look, I'm just helping out, okay? But there will be no changes to your precious schedule. You're sure? <laughs> just an extra body, okay? Okay. That sounds like a challenge. Well, I thought it might free up some time this afternoon for us to decorate. The board remains intact. We can dare touch it. I don't know whether to be impressed or take this as a challenge. What do you think? Well, that depends. What's going on in here? Well, everything with a green tag goes to Legacy. Everything in red is to donate, blue to toss, and I've started a separate pile for Isla to look at. It's Mr. Hawthorne's daughter. It's just a few of the more personal items. You got through an entire room this morning? Yep. And I took a picture of everything to upload to the auction site. If you won't change your schedule. I'll change mine. Oh, now see, that sounds like a challenge. Well, I thought it might free up some time this afternoon for us to decorate. Maybe 2.30? Done. Oh, look at us. Oh, careful. We haven't started yet. <laughs> I didn't think that thing still worked. I'm sorry. I thought you were still out. I so admired your daughter growing up. She's beyond talented. You must be so proud. I am. And those are all... Press clippings about her? They are. I remember when my mom told me about her playing Carnegie Hall. Two encores, standing ovation. That was the last performance my wife was able to attend. I've, I've started a box in the dining room. Things for Isla to look at when she comes home for Christmas. Husband, she's not coming home. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Well, well I'll let you get back to your work. Be honest, do you think it was something I said? No, I'm 
make sure you didn't say anything wrong. <laughs> Actually, I take that back. Kidding. Okay, did you put that random bow there? Maybe. No. Just no. I just don't get why his own daughter wouldn't come home for Christmas. Especially since it's their last one here. Well, I'm sure it's complicated. I don't know, the thought of anyone being lonely at the holidays just doesn't sit right. Good company, good food. It's all you really need, right? Yeah. Yeah, I get that. You do? Mm. Everyone has a story, Gwen. But not always one they want to share. So it's your company's party, but you've invited all the veterans in town. Yeah, Reed started it a couple years ago. And now you're in charge. Yes, and uh, my reputation's on the line, which is why I'm really up in our food game this year. <laughs> you're a real foodie, huh? I just think food is one of the great joys in life, and we should all try and experience as much joy as we can while we can. Good company, good food. It's all you really need, right? Yeah. yeah. Maybe a little travel thrown in for good measure. I haven't had the chance for that yet, but, I mean, I'd love to. I started working when I was 16. Mm, I joined the Army young, too. But you got to travel a lot? <laughs> Not as much as I would have liked. I, uh, I was quartermaster in Afghanistan, and I uh, went out in a supply run. An RPG overturned my transport and uh, crushed my L4, so travel plans were postponed. I came home to Windale, and a year later, met Reed at the VA, and like so many, we needed a do-over. <laughs> so, let's get to the good stuff. Yuletide first, right? It's just a plain latte. I wanted to make sure you were paying attention. <laughs> Does it look like you were done for the day and it's only eight o'clock? Well, have been here for a couple of hours. Gotta roll with it when the work calls, right? Or you could just stick to the schedule to get it done. I knew you'd say that. Which is why I got through the second story so your guys can work up there while we wait for it. Go get some trees. Christmas trees? You have heard of those. Uh -huh. Don't we have enough to work with already? Not if we really want to show the place off properly. I mean, they always had two. Gorgeous trees right in the foyer, and you, Reed, have the truck to go get those trees. Oh, so you... you need me. Is that what you're saying? Because I... I think... No. Okay, fine, we'll keep looking. That's what I'm hearing. I need your truck. Well, I need it back by 11. <clears throat> Come on. We're still on the clock. Fine. Looks like we're getting some Christmas trees. Driving. Okay. Late December sky, snowflakes flying by. I think the time is right to wish. Uh, what about that one? Uh, it's too short. Okay. This one? No, that's too spindly. Wow, you are one tough customer. It's called having an eye for quality. No. Okay, fine, we'll keep looking. What kind of tree did you have growing up? Um, well, I don't know. Kind of just, um, depending on the year. Like, um, 
what was available or what your parents wanted? My mom was never really in the picture. And my dad passed away from cancer while I was serving. And uh, I'm an only child, so holidays were always a little different. I'm so sorry. Never looked back. I get that. Work has helped me. It's okay. It's just been a while. But I made a lot of great family in the Air Force. It took me a minute to get my bearings when I got out. Uh, but then I offered to professionally clean a friend's small business. I grabbed a couple of buddies from the VA, and it went well. And I figured we could go bigger. And that's when I landed the Portman Hotel liquidation. Wait, so our first job together? It was my first real professional gig. And in my defense, I just got out of the military, so I might have been a little... Rigid? For focused. Oh, focused. <laughs> Having a purpose helped me. And then Mike and I teamed up and never looked back. I get that. Work has helped me through some tough times, too. I just like that what I put into it, I get out of it. You know, I do my job, I work hard, and I have something to show for it. It's reliable. Makes the unpredictable things a little easier to handle. Wait, what about these two? Uh, I mean, they look pretty good to me. <laughs> well, I mean, they're the right height for the foyer, and... Seems very, uh... business-like. I mean, they smell great. We'll take these two. Okay. This is the last of it. Perfect. Could you, um, could you pass me the star tree topper? I haven't finished researching it yet, but it's those kinds of unique finds that make our auction a true destination. Ah, thanks. Do you find it difficult to stage and sell at the same time? No. I just photograph everything that's worth anything and upload it to the auction site as I go, and then when the auction's over and the house sells, I'll pack it up, ship it off to its new owner. It's easy. Well, it seems very, uh, business-like. Why do you say that like it's a bad thing? No, I'm sorry. It's just... I think that I would find it hard to sell family heirlooms. Well, I guess I try not to get attached to things in general. It's easier. I have to say, though, I am surprised. By what? I did not have you pegged as a closet sentimentalist. Oh, we are all about traditions. You'd be surprised how sentimental a lot of military can be. About some things. Is that why you always wind your watch? Do I? Yeah. It's my grandfather's. Yeah. And then my father's. Must be very special to you. Yeah, you can say that. I think I'm afraid that if I forget to wind it one day, that it's just gonna throw everything off course. I doubt that would happen. I should um, probably get this up. Are you sure you're not too tired to be up there? You've been here since. Sam? Yeah, I'm good. Okay. Okay, ready to light it up? Yeah. At this rate, I think you're gonna need a bigger space for your option. Hey. Hi. Last 
lunchbox. Uh, sorry, I'm still dozed off. That's it for today. Yeah, like uh, 9.30 or 10. Look at you. Only three to go. I can't believe it. Thank you for everything. Are uh, you heading out? Still got one more room I want to get through, so. It's late. It's four. Yeah, but you need to go home, relax. You've been going nonstop. Yeah, but I, this is it, right? This is the final push. Can't miss anything, especially if I want to pull this off. Just make sure you don't push so hard that you miss all the good stuff. Mark will always be there. I'll head home soon. Promise. Uh, why don't we meet a little later tomorrow? Later? Yeah, like uh, 9.30 or 10. Look at you. <laughs> yeah. Okay, until when? I don't know. Until we're done, I guess. Okay. No, that is way too relaxed. <laughs> well, the hard outs are really for my guys at the holidays. I'll get used to it. I won't. See you at 9.30. Okay. Douglas Fur. That was my dad's favorite. It's actually just coming to find you. <gasps> What's this? It has been so long since we'd had a tree in this room. It, it's just gorgeous. Thank you. Yeah. I was actually just coming to find you. <sighs> What's this? It's Carol's cookbook. Oh, I have been looking for this for years. I found it upstairs. Mm -hmm. Alan packed up all of Carol's things when she passed away. Gingerbread. Zyla's favorite. Well, actually, everyone's. <laughs> I know it was mine. Oh. Um, I hope you don't mind my asking, but why is she not coming home for Christmas? Mr. Hawthorne mentioned. Ah, uh, he and Isla haven't really spoken for two years. When Carol passed away, Isla focused on celebrating. I'm sure he'll reach out if he needs to. Yes. Yeah, I suppose. Reading her mother's life, but Alan almost became immobile with grief. And, you know how it goes. No two people mourn alike. Of course. After the funeral, Isla returned to performing. And uh, she would always write letters to Alan and filling him in with all of her adventures. And, and she included loving memories of her mother. Alan just couldn't bear to read those, much less write back. Um, after a year or so, Isla stopped trying. I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah. I worry for Alan. I'm sure he'll reach out if he needs to. Yes, yeah, I suppose. So you got two trees, decorated them. Cleared four rooms and appraised. A lot of amazing stuff. <laughs> and you still had time to stop by? I told you I can do it all. I know you can, sweetheart. Mm -hmm. Just wish you didn't always have to. It's a lot. Actually, Reed's been really helpful. Reed, as in the Reed you didn't want to work with again? Said he was a little too... Stuck in his ways. I know, but... I was wrong. And... Actually, that was his first big job, so. All right. Oh. <laughs> I really needed to see your faces. I love you. Was this about Reed? Nothing, Dad. 
I think she might like him. Ooh. What? Mom, why would you say that? Because <laughs> you turned away when I asked you about him. Well, I don't. I mean, even if I did, it's not like he likes me, so. Oh, that. Right there, that's the problem. You're worried about what's going to come back to you before you even figured out how you feel. I mean, just do what's in your heart. It's all that matters. How's dinner, Linda? It smells great, Dad. Well, it's too bad you can't stay. No, no, don't worry, I know. I got work. <sighs> yeah. But, um, no. Work will be there later. Wait, so you are staying? Uh, I just. All right. Uh... <laughs> I really needed to see your faces. I love you. Mm. I love you more. Mm. Wow, we have so many great items. We might need a bigger space. It's insane. We are fully booked with five times as many online. I am... Um... Wow. <laughs> I mean, I just need a couple more big ticket items and then. Mm. What? Nothing. Sienna? Okay, something. Graham had lunch with the CEO of Dab. Okay, one business owner to the next. What's your drive? Bro. When? Yesterday. Sorry, I should have told you sooner. It's just there's nothing to say except. I'm gonna need to up my game. Yeah. So I uh, know you're probably slammed, but I'm just going to throw it out there anyway. Um, our holiday party is tonight, and uh, I think that uh, there should be a lot of ugly sweaters and bad ties, and it, it could be a lot of fun. It does sound fun, but... Too much to do? Uh, at this point. I mean, it might all be moot. Okay, one business owner to the next. What's your drive? To own my own company? I guess I always just felt like the smartest thing I could do was to become as independent as possible. Have you always felt like that? Probably. Being left at the altar didn't help, but... Oh, you're serious? Yeah, but it, it's fine. It was a long time ago. It wasn't right. We were young. It still leaves a mark, though. I get that. Um, I should take this. I need to check on my guys downstairs. Mr. Hawthorne, I'm sorry to bother you. No, please, come in and sit. Hey, Sienna, what's up? Hey. Just some intel for you. Graham gave the Davro guys a sneak peek at the full catalog, and they're really impressed. <laughs> They've reviewed past auctions and their valuations, and they think Legacy's really making its mark this year. Well, let's just hope it's not all for their benefit. <laughs> Agreed. Um, did you get the provenance for the Star Tree Topper so I can finish the description and upload? Graham would love to feature it at the auction. <laughs> I haven't yet, but I will, um, I will go ask right now. Thank you, Sienna. Bye. Bye. Mr. Hawthorne, I'm sorry to bother you. No, please, come in and sit. And, and uh, call me Alan. <laughs> uh, I know you gave me carte blanche to sell everything, but there's one thing that I want to run by you. I bought this for Carol on our honeymoon. A few dollars in a second-hand shop in Bruges. Wow. I, I'm still running the comps, but it does appear that it's quite valuable. Well, we obviously didn't realize. <laughs> she just loved the way the light reflected from it. There were only 30 ever produced, and there's even fewer still around. So if you want to auction it off for one of the charities you're supporting, that's lovely. But I thought maybe you might want to keep it. 
sell it. Are you sure? It'll just remind me of what I've lost. Now, I, I heard you have a very big work goal to meet. Every penny counts. Ago. I just had a few things to get done. We can't have an auction without a mid-century fondue set or a signed Coriello, which is arriving Monday. Sienna, I didn't want you to have to do all this. And everyone loves a place to go at Christmas, so. Especially given how awesome this place is. I know. I don't know what I'd do without you. Well, let's hope we never have to find out. <laughs> Maybe this will help us get what we want. Oh, I saw the pictures, but wow. <laughs> It's gonna sell in a hot minute. Graham will be so glad you brought it in. <laughs> You're not gonna stay late, are you? No. Thanks to you doing my to-do list. <laughs> do you have any interest in going to a holiday party? You're gonna have to try one of her new lattes. They're so festive. <laughs> I'll, um, I'll find you later, okay? Hey, can't believe you made it. Well, the flyer was awfully enticing. Yeah, it was, wasn't it? <laughs> and everyone loves a place to go at Christmas, so... Especially given how awesome this place is. Plus, I, uh, had to support my best friend, right? Right. Of course. You hungry? Yeah, I'm starving. Me too. <laughs> Somebody wants to up. I've never seen so many smiles coming from one coffee cart. <laughs> I've never seen a better snowman tie. I think your selection's helped. Although, I saw an unfamiliar green one floating around. You mean my mistletoe mint latte? Did I try it? No, nope. but you can try this one. This is fancy. It's the little things, right? Oh, for sure. It, even if I'm not there. Hey, Reed. <laughs> hey, you. So, what do I do with this? Well, it's not edible, so. For the record, this is definitely my favorite one. Glad to hear it. Wow, that is one sweet dinner. Well, what can I say? I'm a sucker for snowballs. What are they? You don't know what snowballs are? Okay, next you're gonna tell me you've never been to the Christmas fire pits in town. What? No, okay, we have to go. It's so fun. I mean, you should go. For sure. It, even if I'm not there. Hey, Reed. <laughs> hey, you must be Melissa. Nice to meet you. I heard you were in Boston. Uh, Tucker? This is Quinn. Hi. We're working together. Melissa and I actually broke up earlier this year. Oh, I'm sorry. I, <laughs> one of the guys mentioned... I just assumed... <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> it, it's fine. Well, it was very nice to meet you, Gwen. You too. Merry Christmas. <laughs> so, Melissa, she, uh, she from here? No. We served together overseas and then moved here. I don't mean to... <laughs> Go. Enjoy it. Okay. Uh, tomorrow's our last day. You ready? Cry, but what happened? Well, the plan was to put down roots and start a family. That's why we both decided not to re-enlist. She had second thoughts about kids, and I've always wanted a family, so... It was all on track until it wasn't. I'm sorry. 
Well, it's okay. She got a great job in tech, and I met Mike at the VA here, which led to Dirt Force One. And I believe we might be expanding to a second office out west. Oh, is that what you want to do? If the VA in San Diego ever approves our space there, we'd like to work in conjunction. I can't believe you're here and you haven't said hi. Hi. Come, we've got to see the cute setup inside. I'll be right there. I should have. Uh, probably. Go. Enjoy it. Okay. Uh, tomorrow's our last day. You ready? Always. Hey, Quinn. I'm glad you came. Me too. <laughs> ah, looks like I just missed you. No, I missed you. At least we didn't double up. Thank you. So, uh, what do you think? Final day. Well, I think you and this house both deserve a little Christmas luck. Proud either way. You're gonna be there, right? Let's do this. This latte is pretty good with this. Huh, who knew? Um, Vanessa and Mike? Sure. <laughs> they make a pretty good pair, too. Yeah, now I get his new coffee habit. <laughs> you excited for tomorrow? Actually, I don't know what I am. You know, usually it's just the auction, and it's great. Everyone gets a one-of-a-kind gift that means something. This year feels bigger. Well, you've done everything you can. You should be proud either way. You're gonna be there, right? Yeah. Where else am I gonna get my antique linens? <laughs> Very funny. Yeah. Is box done? Can I take it to the van? Yes, thank you. I wanna thank you for taking on the decorating. The broker stopped by this morning. He took lots of pictures. He seems very optimistic. Oh, God. Carol would have loved everything you've done here. It was my genuine pleasure. Um, I'm gonna leave this here for you to take. So you ready? Ready for what? I, th I thought we were. Okay. Merry Christmas, Alan. Merry Christmas. Help you with that? There's nothing in it. It's just one thing. Can I take it? Fine. <laughs> oh, hey! You are nuts. <sighs> so you ready? Ready for what? I, th I thought we were done here. Fire pits. Oh, well, are we going? We could. Or you could. At some point, if that sounded fun to you or not. It's just, tonight they're making s'mores men, or as I like to call them, s'mores people. Which is less catchy. I'm going. <laughs> well, we did just finish a massive job that deserves celebrating. And with you heading off to California... Well, we're still playing phone tag. Either way, it would be a shame to miss this Christmas tradition. With military men being sentimental traditionalists and all. Decorate it with whatever candy you get. Some people like to work as a team to make the biggest one they possibly... See? You got my six? <laughs> so there's a different pop-up every night? Yep. Wreath making, ornaments, this. We do it every day in the week leading up until Christmas. I used to come when I was little. Though I guess they didn't call them pop-ups then. 
So it looks like we came on a good night. <laughs> oh, uh, so how's this work? Everybody just makes their own personal s'mores, people? What? Pay attention. Yeah. So, you can decorate it with whatever candy you get. Some people like to work as a team to make the biggest one they possibly can, but I prefer to fly solo. What? I've seen that face before. Nothing. Just think you might be missing out. Oh, yeah? On what? A masterpiece. Made out of marshmallow? Maybe. But if we never team up, we'll never know. Well, I guess we better fill up these trays. I'll do that. Yeah, my uh, dad and I used to compete. To see who could roast their marshmallow the longest? That sounds easy. But without it falling in the fire. It really matters. Friends, family. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Never ended well for me. <laughs> I think this is so cool that they do this every year. Yeah, I think it's one of the things I missed the most when I was overseas. Where were you? London. At a job at a big fancy auction house. Sort of the Davro of London. My ex-fiance was in foreign finance, so he traveled a lot. I went with him when I could, but London was a good middle ground. What brought you back? When things didn't work out, the only place I wanted to be was home. But it was in that moment that I was reminded what really matters. Friends, family. Just the people that you love and the ones who love you back. You might be more sentimental than you think. Maybe about some things. <laughs> I'm glad we're doing this. It's worth it, right? I told you I wouldn't lead you astray. I'm in together. Me too. And when this auction is over, we bring your own usually, but I couldn't resist. Oh. It's your new latte. Thanks. Do more of it. Hanging out? Like that? We're done. Really? No, uh, no. You know what this needs? This needs sprinkles. <laughs> no, it's already going to be impossible to eat. Do not underestimate the power of this Moore's person. Okay, but if I get marshmallow on this jacket, I am sending you the dry cleaning bill. Roger that. I know you bring your own usually, but I couldn't resist. Oh. It's your new latte. Thanks. So have you officially asked this girl out on a date yet? I've got a plan that I feel pretty good about, so I'm working on it. Huh. How was last night? Oh, fun. Oh, it was a little messy, but it was a lot more fun than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was just for kids. Or maybe it was the company that made it so great. They want to go over the proposal at three. Brendan and the regional director? That's great. Pacific time. Oh. So, uh, I'll just meet you at the auction then. I should still be able to make it on time. Let me guess. Davro. But what? Like, this is good. You wanted to have this wrapped up by the end of the year. Yeah. was the idea. I can't believe I'll be ringing my last bell. But you certainly made this an impressive auction.
gift for my mom? Well, there's a great crystal decanter. It's not an heirloom, but it's really good repro. It's beautiful. It should go for around 50 bucks. Ooh. Have you seen Reed? No, but Mike will be here soon, so I'm sure. Once, going twice, and this rare beauty is. He will too? Okay. Why? Are you anxious to see him? Maybe. And make sure he knows that. Okay, everyone, if you'll find your seats, our holiday bidding's about to begin. First up, an item I know everyone's talking about, an antique violin from Cremona, Italy. There are reports dating back to 1914 that it plays itself on Christmas Eve. Six thousand? Yes, that's six thousand. Going once, going twice. And this rare beauty is sold at six thousand dollars. And now, our final item, what everyone's been eagerly waiting for today, the crown jewel of the Hawthorne House collection, a rare and stunning Belgian glass star. The vintage hand-polished glass reflects the light in a uniquely golden hue. From 1723, this delicate and dazzling Christmas centerpiece is in pristine condition. So, let's start the bidding, ladies and gentlemen. The bid opens at $10,000. $10,000, excellent. Can I get 12,500? 12, 12,500, anyone? Nearly 300 years old. Mr. Hawthorne. You did great. Did Graham really find that for his wife for a few dollars? Yeah. It's like a story on Antiques Roadshow. How lucky were they to find something so rare? Incredibly. And we have 17 5, taking it to 20,000. 20,000? Do I hear 20,000? 20, 20, Wait, stop. <laughs> I'm sorry to do this so last minute, but this item is no longer for sale. I'm pulling it from the auction. You did great, sweetheart. Yeah, we'll talk tomorrow. Yeah. Can we talk? No one expected that finale. I just knew that Alan would regret it one day. Well, it wasn't the most professional move, especially if you want to stay on. But the auction was still a great success. Gwen, even if you'd sold the star and gotten the sizable commission that we were expecting... Are you okay? Is this about the tree topper? I don't think you can compete with Davro's offer. Not at this point. But I did talk to them about keeping you in a senior role, of course. Despite that finale, they agree that you'd be an amazing asset if you want to stay. Just think about it. Of course. Sorry, I was late. You okay? Is this about the tree topper? I just couldn't sell it. Didn't feel right. Turns out it wouldn't have made a difference anyway, so. I'm sorry to hear that. You should be proud. I'm glad you made it. Oh. I would have been here sooner, but my phone call with San Diego ran long. Well, you finally connected. Yeah. We got the approval for our office space and the VA building there. That's great news, right? They want me out there. By the first. So, 
So you're moving. Yeah, I guess. That's great. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. It's just, uh, these last few weeks. I guess I'm a little more attached to this town than I thought. Well, I'm sure you'll love it. You'll be helping more vets and. It's California. It'll be great. It's everything you work towards, right? Yeah, I guess. Well, I should get back to it. Right. Of course. Okay. Bye. Glenn? I'm sorry. If you have a minute, there's someone here to see you. Oh. I hear the auction went well. Just like I'll want the the snowflake lights that my dad refused. And uh, Doris told me about you wanting to buy out the business. I hope that worked out. No, but um, it was always a long shot. But the auction did go well, so. I know you told me to sell it. And a few weeks ago, I would have been happy to. But there are some things worth holding on to. And wherever you go, the light that Carol loved so much should always surround you. I think Isla might want it. I know I would if you and Mrs. Hawthorne were my parents. Just like I'll want the the snowflake lights that my dad refuses to replace because it will always feel like our Christmas. It'll remind me of my parents' love. It's never too late to reach out. I think that's the last thing she wants at this point. You know, there are some things worth holding on to. But there are things that we all need to let go of. Just do what's in your heart. Can't worry. About the rest. Hey, whatever 
is happening in California does not need to be attended to on Christmas Eve. I feel the same way. That's why I just wanted to bring you these. These from Vanessa's? Just some gingerbread cookies that we made together. Okay, that's uh, pretty adorable. <laughs> You know, there's enough in there for two, if you wanted to share with a special someone. It's cute. But, uh, I see what you're doing. Well, what's the point? Being restationed. The whole point of this is to help vets adjust back to civilian life. That includes you, Reed. I'm going to meet Vanessa. Don't stay too long. I forgot to wind it. Uh, uh, Mike, uh, wait up. Sweetheart, it just thinks we've been so. I know, Dad. I know. Doris? I see you got the package. And your letter? On Mom's stationery, too? I caught the first flight I could, so... I'm sorry, sweetheart. It just thinks we've been so... I know, Dad. I know. I'm so glad you came home for Christmas. Me too. <laughs> Linda, Gwen, get ready. Okay. So, can we get a smile out of you for our family photo? It's going on the wall no matter what, so you better smile. <laughs> okay, okay, we are ready. Hmm. Well, it's official. I am overstuffed. It was all so good. Oh. I'll uh, call you when I wake up. Yes, okay. Bye, honey. Oh, um, sorry. Merry Christmas Eve. Thanks. Is there any chance you could swing by? Alan needs to talk to you. It's important. Um, sure, I'll be right over. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Gwen. Merry Christmas, Alan. At least, Gwen. Gwen. Hi. You were the little girl Mom always used to sneak extra gingerbread to. It's so nice to officially meet you. You too. Merry Christmas. And we're all here. Hawthorne House Christmas. We need to send it off right. All together. I am so happy for you. For both of you. 
I haven't been this happy for so long. Thank you for showing me what I've been missing. You're welcome, though I'm not sure I did much. Oh, I'm sure you always do more than you think. Uh, all this decorating helped us find the perfect buyer, a young family that wants to keep the traditions alive. Really? I love that. Me too. I also love a hard worker, which is why I believe that you deserve a fair shot. What are you talking about? Is it too early to ask for a promotion, boss? Alan. You didn't. Outbid the competition. <laughs> I'm moving closer to Isla. So I'll just be a silent partner. Now you who clearly care about your work and about your community. Well, that's the kind of person that I need to invest in. So, uh, congratulations. The keys to legacy. I don't know what to say. Thank you. Merry Christmas. <laughs> I believe this calls for a toast. Here's to the unexpected joys of Christmas and sharing its lights with those we love. Yeah. Merry, Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. <laughs> and if everyone would like to follow me into the dining room for some gingerbread. Mm. <laughs> right this way. Well, admittedly, I didn't ask Alan to invest in Legacy. That was all him. But I might have suggested he host this little party and enlist Mike and Vanessa to help. Why? Because I knew it would make you happy. I know you're moving, and I get it. I know this wasn't what you imagined when you came here. And I am excited to see how the Hawthorne tradition changes next year. As much as I don't like the fact that you're leaving, I just want you to know that I think you're really great. And I know it can't be anything, but I just wanted you to know that because I definitely didn't think that when you and I first met. Like, not at all. So, I do. <clears throat> okay. okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm still going to take that as a compliment. Uh, I think you're pretty great, too. You do. And I have to admit, I am excited to see how the Hawthorne tradition changes next year. Next year? Are you not? What about your plan to expand? Oh, it's uh, still happening. I just realized I needed to change my approach. Wait, you? <laughs> <laughs> and I already found the best person to go in my place. Mike's going to California. He's always wanted a station vacation. <laughs> and if I'm not mistaken, I believe that Vanessa is going to take a little vacation too. Try out some new pastry vendors. I don't know. We'll see where it goes from there. Are you sure this is what you want? I have been searching for a place to call home for such a long time. You made me realize that I'm already here in a place that I love. That's priceless. Are you sure? Because I'm pretty sure I can put a number on that. <laughs> I'm kidding. I am so glad you're 
stay. Me too. Amanda Schul and Travis Van Winkle. Do you want me to wish? I want my dad to be in love again. Project Christmas Wish premieres Sunday night at 10, only on Hallmark Movies and Mysteries. Mm -hmm.